Hey everyone, Sales for Shorts here. Um, in this video, we're just going to talk about the name credential that we just created. Um, so in one of our previous videos, we created an external credential with a name credential, and now we're going to use that in our Apex class. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, basically, all we've, all we've created here is a, an Apex class. We've got a public void called get call. And then inside of this, we're just using a basic um, request, um, setting the endpoint. So we're using callouts with colon and then the name credential name, which is the label here. Um, if you were just like using a normal remote site setting, you could just, um, you do something like this. So you just put the entire URL in there and then you can use a remote site setting. But um, yeah, I just find this a little, a little bit better because you can actually change the endpoint of the URL without actually modifying the code. So if you wanted to, you could just come in, come in here into name credentials, go to edit, and then you can change the URL to basically whatever you want. And you can do that as many times as you want as well. Um, all right, so back to the code. Yeah, so we're just doing a simple uh, request and then get using the get method. Then here, HTTP response, um, sending the, the request that we've got there. And then basically in the system debug, we're just returning the body. Um, so technically we probably don't need that because it looks like we're doing that twice. All right, so next step would be, let's go into system debug and open an anonymous window. You can see I've got a similar thing here already. So let's just um, instantiate the Apex class first. Let's call this something like MCC, MNCC equals that. All right, cool. So all we're doing here is basically just instantiating the class name and then calling the um, method that's inside of it. So let's execute that. Um, Method does not exist. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, just need to add new here. I think that should do it. All right, cool. So we've got another error here. We couldn't access the credential. You might not have the required permissions. All right, yeah, so if you see this problem here for external credential, you don't have the permissions. All you need to do is go to external credentials here, um, open this up. And then you'll see you've got um, permission mappings, permission set mappings here. So just click new, and then you can create a new. Yeah, let's use the test permission set, okay? And sequence number is one, name principle, that's all good. And then let's add that, okay? So let's just call this test permission 01, set the value as one. So using name principle, all right, sweet. Hit save, uh, not gonna save that. So, cool, we've, we've got everything sorted there. Let's just click there. I think that should be all good. Is there anything else that we need to do? Let me just click on edit. I think that is it. So let's go back and see if this works. All right, cool, looks like it's working now. So if I go to debug logs, um, you can see we've got our response body here, which is pretty cool. So this will tell us, um, you can, you can, as you can see there, Chuck Norris doesn't get frostbite. Uh, well, the joke is definitely there. Um, it doesn't look very pretty at the moment because we've, we're have we getting all of these other fields like icon and URL updated time. But yeah, you can see here that the value is Chuck Norris doesn't get frostbite. Chuck Norris bites the frost. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's the joke. Uh, yeah. If you found this video helpful, <laughs> please, please subscribe and uh, check out our other videos. Thanks.